they're saying ever. They let these people out in jail, they're not giving them no other state, they're not giving them no job, and they're not helping them out. You can't give a man and a woman two hundred dollars and expect them to survive out there. But we want to give back. It's an opportunity for them to learn and be successful in life. Not as far as I'm gonna read this statement, but we can give it back. Our mission is to provide our clients with practical knowledge, resources, and housing opportunities. The most life affirming principle that boosts ability, confidence, and self esteem in our clients. We incorporate strong community involvement activities in our fellowship. What we're going to be doing is teaching them computer skills, let them get the GED, send them to Country Cross College, and uh, take them on field trips, let them get involved with their families, help the women get their kids back, because we have to build people's self esteem in order for them to make it. Because we have an addiction problem that's going on that everybody's overlooking. You know, it is good to make money, but sometimes you have to give back to get your blessings in the life. And I want to bring that to everybody's attention. Now it's for us to provide recently released ex-offenders, parolees, and their families a place to support and understand. We help these men, women, and their families connect with others who share your experience. This will help to build positive learning, social, and networking opportunities. They will experience how service in the community promotes character for others and the overall quality of life as a faith-based support. you got to have God in your life. One thing. A lot of these people get out, they have a lot of love on them, they have burnt bridges, but somebody got to give them opportunity. You, got to, you have to forgive in this world in order to be successful. You know, it's good to make money, but sometimes you got to take that money and give back. You can't step on the little people, because the little people are the ones who put you up there. You know, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm a success story myself. I done been there, and I'm back. You know, and uh, I want to give back to the community. You know, I want to show that it can be done. You know, because back when my grandmother was coming up, he was able to leave your doors open. You didn't have to lock them. You didn't have to worry about anybody jacking your car and stop sign or red light. But if we help these people, and show them, these young men, especially, if they ain't got to be standing on the street corner with their pants hanging down, you know, with these young women, they ain't got to be having all these babies. You know, we can make a difference. What Knowledge for Us is going to do is show them that it's a better way of life. You know, give them an opportunity to stay in this program to learn life skills. You know, right now it's just an SLE, which is a place where a first person does a program, and once they graduate from the program, they have somewhere else to stay, where they can save up a little money and get on their feet. And the housing is low housing. Like 500 a month, but if you get GA, we work with you, you know, and we have meetings, about three meetings a week, we have uh, sponsors, we have guest speakers, you know, and uh, it's just a good place, you know, and if y'all have anybody in your family, because most people, most of them do, that's on drugs, you know, and it's, uh, it's a good thing to do, <coughs> you know, that's what we got to do, you know, we got to give back to the community, we got to help our young people out here. Education is very important to survive in this world. You ain't got no education, you ain't no pay at all. You know, education is key to survive. That's only we're going to survive. That's only we're going to change this Bay Area. That's only we're going to change this problem. You know, we got to get with the police, we got to get with the mayor, we got to get with all these people and let them know the truth. You know, because they tell a lot of lies. You know, politics is a game. Just like in these courtrooms. I was in court one time, you know what the lawyer told me? Whoever put on the best show, that's who's going to win the case. That's the same thing. All they're doing on TV is putting on the show. They're letting these men and women out, and uh, it's all about money. Most of these programs will tell you, I don't care if they, they run from the program or not. Uh, we just want the money. And that's true. You know, I work at a program for free as a medical man. And uh, these people are sick, and they need help. You know? So I got with this young lady, and uh, we trying to make a difference in the Bay Area. So I just want to leave y'all with that, and everybody have a nice evening. I have a question. Where is your organization located? At 15th and McDonald's. 15th and McDonald's? Yes. You just call, and uh, because when you're dealing with people that's like in a program, uh -huh. they want to be in a safe environment. Right. Because so, so we kind of like, when you call, then we get your address, and yeah. come over, and I interview you, and all that. Okay. And, uh, so the person, I'm thinking of my brother, so he, we would call and make an appointment with your well, yeah, I'll give you my number, you can talk to me and I'll okay. give you my number. Yeah, and you provide them with home, and, I mean, yeah, a yeah, roof and all that. Just buy that house up, just exactly how it looks. Okay. Big kitchen, 
It's got bedrooms, it's got a three bedroom, it's got a five bedroom, and it's got a two man bedroom. The backyard is huge. And like we have them do like little things like do gardening and uh, right. clean yeah. up, you know, just okay. to make them feel good. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.